Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3 on the Dig server. I have been busy. I think I say that every episode. Every episode I'm like, I have been busy. Uh, I got this guy now, and I've got 47 levels, which is interesting. Um, I actually had a accident where a creeper blew up. Uh, actually I actually had three of these tanks, which were full, but uh, the creeper tank, or the creeper blew up and took out the tank, and it took out this, there was a drawer here which is full of zombie flesh, so I've moved that over there. Nothing really important got lost, fortunately, but uh, I, I, it made me kind of reinforce this area. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna, see. excuse me. Uh, I may edit that out in post, but if not, I apologize if you just heard me sneeze. So, um, I've just harvested some dirt essence, as you can see. So I got into a little bit of this agricultural stuff off camera. So this row in front here, actually both of these rows, these are all dirt, dirt flowers. And then this row back here is glowstone, just because I thought that that would be kind of fun to try. Whatever. Uh... It's interesting. Uh, I've actually made quite a lot of dirt, and then I've got a bunch of glowstone uh, that I haven't put together, but, um, why is that not, oh, it's like this, that's why. You have to make a square bait, but then it gives you four each, so, uh, it's not, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst, I mean, for basically passive glowstone creation, uh, and I've made a lot of dirt. I've used a lot of dirt, uh, and then I've got my glowstone up here, too. Anyway, uh, I've also made some chickens. Chickens! Wow! Okay. So, <laughs> hmm, we've got iron chickens, we've got redstone chickens. I'm trying to make a diamond chicken, because I think it would be great to have a bunch of diamond chickens. But, um, in order to get diamond, you need a whatchamabucket diamonds you need a nether chicken all right so here's diamond chicken so gold chicken i've got i've got a gold chicken you need a glass chicken to get a glass chicken is a redstone chicken and a nether quartz chicken i have a redstone chicken and that was made by a red chicken and a sand chicken but in order to get a I don't know how to get a nether chicken, a nether quartz chicken. If you click on it, it doesn't tell you what you breed it. So my guess is that we need to go into the nether. And I've been wondering about that, if the nether is void world like this or not. So I think what we need to do is explore the nether this episode. By the way, you'll notice that I have another chicken coop here. These are all iron chickens, producing me some irons. Uh, probably I should breed them again. Do I have seeds on me? I do. Uh, these guys, I didn't realize, they take a lot longer to produce eggs, which makes sense, you know, it makes sense. Uh, but, and I've taken a bunch of iron out of here already, but that's why that's kind of slow, whereas the, <laughs> the log chickens are gonna take over the world soon. I still have not had another cow spawn, which is upsetting, because uh, I have 47 levels and I can't use them unless I have books. I like, I, I, I could make, let's see, I could make a enchanting table. I have enough obsidian and I can get obsidian relatively easily. Uh, and I mean, I can get experience relatively easily too, but it really sucks that I can't, because of the cow thing, I can't make books. Uh, but anyway, I think that's mostly what I've been doing and just maintaining this. Oh, I did make, I figured out how to power this thing. I made some solar panels. I upgraded the solar panels and I upgraded them again. And so now these two guys are running. They probably could go a little bit more, but like that looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. So I've got the auto hammer, which is hammering stuff and the auto smelter, which I've currently got set up to give me diamonds. Looks like I could give it a little bit more gravel. Actually, I think there's gravel in here that I can... Oh, nope, it's all doing sand right now. My, uh, my storage situation is definitely not great. I did expand the island again, uh, in this direction, as you can see. This is all new land here. And uh, next, I think I'm gonna do probably here. And... 
let's go to the nether. So I've watched a couple videos on this mod pack, but I have not seen anybody go into the nether. So I have two thoughts about it. One is that it's going to be a void world just like this one, in which case I'm bringing a bunch of cobble so that I can immediately construct a safe spot away from the ghasts. And if it's a void world, then there's not going to be any chickens. So I think that the way to make another chicken will be to uh, grow them in the nether. So I'm going to bring a bunch of eggs and, and hopefully do it that way. Uh, the alternate is that it's just going to be exactly like the regular world, in which case I'm still going- or er, exactly like the regular Minecraft nether, in which case I'm still going to want to have to bring cobble to make a safe spot. We don't know where we're going to- oh, God! Load! Load! I can see my hand. Hello? I can't- Open my inventory. Okay. I can't look down, though. I can't turn around. Is this borked? Let me relog. Hold on. Okay. 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 So, there is no nether. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I don't know why that was the way that it was, but it was the way that it was, and kind of thought that there wouldn't be a world just because what's the point if there is don't hear any ghasts but that does not mean that there's not going to be ghasts so we are going to function like it's possible that ghasts could appear at any moment and such I'm going to create a quick little room and then hmm I guess I'm gonna make a cut and I Unless something exciting happens, I'm just going to build out a little bit and construct a chicken room. Man. <laughs> Zombie men! So this is the only place, I guess, in the world that these guys can spawn. So of course they're going to spawn all up in my grill. Uh, what a pain. Uh, I've made a small room. I decided to make it 25 blocks away from where my portal was just in case this has the same issues as the overworld where you have to be X distance away I don't think that that's gonna be a case because I'm going to be throwing that is not what I wanted to make um, I'm trying to make another fence if, it, if I could talk and make a fence at the same time that would be so great hey, there we go um, for a natural spawn, but I don't think that they're gonna naturally spawn, but they could? I don't know. Uh, and I know that there's a door there, but I want to have... Hmm, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. If I can do this without angering the zombie. <laughs> God, this is gonna drive me nuts. All right, well, that's gonna be enough for now. Let's do that, and I don't, honestly, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Um, you guys may be watching this and going, Vaughn, you're an idiot! That's not how you get nether chickens. You get them this way. Well, whatever. If, if this doesn't work, then I will figure it out. Let's get ourselves some chickens. Alright, those look like normal chickens. And, yep, so they can immediately <laughs> run out of that little area. Dang it! Chicken? Zombie men? Ah! Okay, um, hmm, I, uh, huh, huh, I opened the ceiling because I couldn't jump over that fence, and like a creepery thing apparently was there, and immediately jumped, dropped down, and s blew up on me. Uh, I don't know why he spawned up there instead of in here, but I guess I got lucky in that he did that, so that I, um, didn't die just now but that means that this place is not safe and that stuff does spawn in here a bunch of my chickens apparently died but it looks like two of them survived which is nice I don't know what to do I guess I need to look it up because if that thing had spawned in here that would be very not cool um, and it does make me think that it's possible for ghasts to spawn after all okay we're just gonna leave that hole there okay 
Um, hmm. Back to the drawing board then. <laughs> this is, uh... Man, I thought that this door would save me, but nothing saves you from the freaking zombie pigmen. Man, oh man. I've been getting a lot of conflicting information based on the wikis that I am reading. One of them, apparently, even though the, the nether is a void, nether fortresses apparently maybe still spawn, in which case that's where you have to find the chickens, but... Some people also say that they do spawn naturally, so one guy suggested that you make a platform out of, just like I did, and that you light it up with a mega torch, which seems like a really cool thing. Stops mob spawns in a 64 block radius. That's amazing. I want to make these for all over my house. Uh, unfortunately, you need two blocks of emerald, and I don't, I'm not quite there yet. Fortunately, I have been getting emeralds because I've been, I've been doing this. I only had a few before I started doing this. So, uh, we need two more emeralds. I was just over there. I had one emerald in my mob farm, uh, as loot. I may open some bags. Oh, that reminds me. I had an idea, and it worked out for me. Uh, I thought, oh, if I, two of, or four of these makes an epic bag, four epics makes a legendary. I have not opened it, but I've been waiting, so, uh, we'll take a quick break from all of that to open this. Please be something cool. What? A supreme apple gives buffs, absorption to speed to resistance to regeneration to strength. Well, if I ever fight a wither... I don't know that I ever will, but if I ever do, that probably would be a good one to have. Although I did get, as you can see, a golden apple at one point. Um, it might be worth making another one of those, because at least that's something that I feel like I could not have like easily done on my own. Ah, at long last, my ninth emerald, we can make the block. I feel a little silly using all of my emeralds to do this, but uh, you know what? I'm not using them for anything else. Mega Torch. I love the fact that I can just click on this and it'll just craft it. Of course, now I'm going to take it into the nether and I'm probably going to immediately be killed. I don't know where this guy came from. I think somehow he may have glitched out of his box. Because I don't think any new animals have spawned. I think it would be very strange if it was just him that spawned. So now this is a Mega Torch and it's supposed to illuminate for... 64 blocks. That doesn't look like it's illuminating. Um, how do I... Okay. I want to put it... I don't know. In here? Is that working? There's nobody in here yet. Um, now somebody said if you hit F3? No, F7, I think. Yeah. So F7 shows you... Places that are not illuminated. So then this thing is not illuminating everything. I don't understand how this thing works then. Well, I mean, that looks pretty nice. Um, maybe we can close this off now that there's nobody out there. That was terrifying. I wish I'd been recording. Um, Alright, well, I should have probably brought some seeds in those. I guess those chickens are not going to spawn. I thought, one of the things that I thought was that maybe once these guys grew up, man, look how damaged they are, that I could breed them to each other and maybe their baby would be a, another chicken. <laughs> uh, but apparently I just need to let them spawn on their own. So what I may do in that regard is in Increase the size of this platform if possible just to increase our odds of getting a nether spawn <laughs> Fantastic, I heard an adult chicken clucking and apparently he spawned on the ceiling uh, Does he want my seeds? Oh, he is another quartz chicken. I am so happy right now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, and he's going to poop an egg in two minutes. Now, is he going to poop 
another quartz chicken egg. I love that that happened so quickly. It's really been almost no time at all. I just finished pushing out this wall and I heard the adult tur cluck, turned around, and there were still babies. And then I hit F1 and there was a white guy right here. Like, these guys are white. Uh, <laughs> so yay! Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm going to wait until this guy poops an egg, and then hopefully I can... I don't know. So he does not poop nether chicken eggs. He poops quartz. <sighs> Which means that we're going to have to bring him out of the nether and into our pen. That's a scary thought. What are you guys doing? Praise the Mega Torch! Praise the Mega Torch! All right, um, <laughs> hopefully this will work. I don't, it's not a very long distance. We got the log guy interested as well, and the two babies grew up, so I thought I would just bring them with me. Everybody wants a bit of this. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, little guy, come on. Get in here with your family. All right, so we to we need to breed the nether chicken. Let's see, diamond. We need now to breed him to the redstone chicken. Our first glass chicken has arrived. Yay! So I'm gonna let this guy grow up. It's gonna take him 20 minutes. So I'm gonna AFK for a bit. Uh, I may try to breed a couple more glass chickens, and then I will bring you guys back. Hopefully, once I get my first diamond, we need to breed a glass guy to a gold guy. By the way, uh, I discovered this animal net is amazing. You can just scoop up the dudes and move them into another room. So that's what I did. I kind of separated these guys out. Uh, and there may be further sorting later on now that I know about this amazing tool. He's a big boy now. Round one. I am not holding my breath that our first breeding will give us a diamond, but you never know. We could at least maybe get another glass. What do we get? What? I don't... Oh. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Oh, at least we got another glass chicken. Round three. Fight. Round who knows whatever. Four, I think. Come on. Again. Come on, diamond! Oh! Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Yay! We got our first diamond chicken. Alright, we're gonna call that an episode, and I suspect. Uh, I, I got a lot of these guys now. I suspect that this will look very different next time you guys come back, uh, and that there will be many more of them. Anyway, thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I. And my chickens will see you as I hold poop in my hand. Gosh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I've got squid. I've got an auto hammer that is not hooked up to any energy source. I've got a cow. <laughs> Finally got a cow. I'm so happy. Fun. Only one. I've got log chickens. <laughs> what? What is a lie? I don't know why. Oh, I guess he's pooping logs. And you know what?